Hello everyone, this is Jeremy Fry. I'm a senior pastor at Advent Lutheran Church in Melbourne, Florida. This is my daily devotional podcast. It is Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. As we begin to enter the fourth weekend in our season of Lent, which is the 40 days before Lent, 46 if you count Sundays. We don't count Sundays because each worship service is its own little Easter. Uh, the time of Lent is a time that we focus on uh, Jesus's uh, last uh, bit of ministry, his public ministry, as he as he uh, heads uh, to Jerusalem uh, to ultimately be arrested, beaten, crucified, and uh, of course rising again on the third day. So uh, the time of Lent is really time to kind of simplify your life. A lot of people give up something or add something uh, to their uh, to their life or uh, just kind of simplify things and really focus on relationships that matter the most to them, our relationship with God and our relationship with each other, especially our loved ones. We've been looking at the scriptures that we use for the weekend worship services uh, each day. Uh, today, we're going to look at a psalm. Again, the psalm is uh, is what we would call the um, songbook of the Old Testament. Uh, they're attributed to King David. Uh, king David was the greatest king of the Israelites uh, who, who uh, did a great, wonderful work in God's name, but also had his own issues. Uh, and there are different kinds of psalms. There's praise psalms, there's pray, uh, Thanksgiving psalms, there's songs of lament or sadness, uh, you know, all this kind of different stuff. Uh, today is Psalm 107, and uh, a lot of the psalms are very long, so we break them up for our worship service, and this is one as well. So, psalm 107, 1 through 3, and 17 through 22. Psalm 107, 1 through 3, 17 through 22. This is the New Revised Standard Version translation of the Bible. It says this, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Those he redeemed from trouble and gathered and from the lands, from the east and from the west and from the north and the south. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever. Some were sick through their sinful ways and because of their iniquities endured affliction. They lo loathed for any kind of food and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them and delivered them from destruction. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let them think, thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works of humankind, and let him offer thanksgiving sacrifices to tell of his deeds with songs of joy. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Very common practice uh, in uh, the Psalms to repeat itself over and uh, over again. Uh, and this is another one. Um, this is a famous line in the Psalms uh, and uh, a theme for the New Testament as well. And even Jesus uh, quoted this Psalm. I'll give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Uh, the, just the biggest theme uh, throughout uh, Christianity and the Jewish faith as well. And uh, in most uh, major religions is this uh, idea that God um, you know, steadfast and God's love endures forever, uh, that God does not give up on his creation. No matter what we do or what we say or what it looks like, uh, God continues uh, to be steadfast. You know, we as humans are the ones who change our minds and, and, and you know, decide to go a different direction or to decide to do that. Uh, but God uh, is just always there uh, for us and with us. Uh, this um, psalm always reminds me of the very famous phone poem, Footsteps. If you never uh, heard of that, uh, I, I, I encourage you to Google it. It's one of my mom's favorite uh, poems as well. Basically, uh, I'm not going to read it verbatim, but, verbatim, but the, um, 
the poem is about uh, Jesus and you walking on the sand and, uh, and looking back at your life. The, uh, the footsteps represent the years of your life. And uh, you notice that uh, at times that there is only one foot, one set of footsteps. And you ask Jesus, and you notice that during those times were some of the hardest times uh, of your life. And you can't believe that Jesus wasn't there with you. And you ask Jesus, Jesus, why is there only one set of footsteps um, in those most difficult times of my life? And Jesus responds, that's when I was carrying you. Again, it's a, a very famous one. And, this, this, and that's what I, I think of when I think of God's steadfast love endures forever. That um, no matter where we are in life, uh, the ups and downs, um, especially the downs, uh, that's when God carries us. That's when God is there for us. Uh, even when we don't want it, even though when we don't see it, even when we don't feel it. Um, God is there regardless. That's his steadfast love. So I don't know if you need to hear that today. I, I kind of need to hear that right now with the pandemic and everything going on and the Lenten season being difficult and I will be doing this for over a year and not to be able to have full in-person ministry and worship has just been, it's been hard on a lot of people. It's been hard on a lot of pastors and um, I'm, I'm here to say it's been hard on me and our staff as well. We've been doing, a, I think, the best job that we can do, but um, it's, it's tough. It's hard. And uh, I do feel God carrying me, God carrying uh, this church, um, our church, the, the whole Christian church. And, uh, and if you're going through something similar, know that God is carrying you too, and that God loves you. And God's loves is, his steadfast love uh, does endure forever. So let's pray. Oh, good and gracious God, I just thank you for the um, the fact that your your steadfast love endures forever. That uh, our love worries, our love goes ups and downs. Uh, there are so many times when we don't feel you're close, or choose not to, or go our own way, uh, or whatever, or feel even you know condemned by you. Uh, but that is our own human emotions, our own human feelings, figuring that out. But we know that you are there unconditionally loving us and caring for us and watching over us. And I just thank you so much uh, for that. And if we're, I know when we're having hard times, the most difficult times that you are carrying us through it. And I thank you. Uh, that is the glimmer of hope that I have, that I know that uh, we can get through this and I can get through the hard times of my life. Lord, we just ask that you continue to bless us and watch over us and carry us when we're needed. We pray this all in your son's holy and precious name. Amen. All right, thanks for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and stay safe.